Listen to these up. I'm going to pull this off. Under here. Oh, shoot. Look at that. Oh, man. Ooh. It looks like a critter got in here. Let me get a different light. All right. Um, this should squeeze this. Should pop out. that. Guess you got to push this in right here. Squeeze that in. It'll pop out. All right. So let's pull this off for now. Better look at this. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty rough, huh? So if I'm right, oh wow, that's pretty bad. I don't know how this car was even running. Lucky it runs. All right, well, looking at the prints, we got our fuel tank for a fuel pump. And it's a yellow and green wire black wire for ground and our fuel tank unit for our gauge if you look right here the yellow and black with black going to ground and over here you'll see over the top when there's three together those two is how you check the sending unit. So a full tank of gas. It's about 11 to 13 ohms. So we come over here. We go. Let's see. Here's 10 ohms. We'll go uh, 12 ohms. How's that? So we got 12 ohms right now. Resistance across these two. I'll prove that with the meter. All right. We'll go right here. I got our resistance. here all right we got it on resistance we'll touch these two together and there you go we'll put them in here now about 13 ohms and we got it set for 12 that's pretty close okay now we're gonna take these two and You know, these are our two wires. This one. If we can strip this back a little. There you go. Pull that off. This on here. What we do want to do is just check the gauge. That's all. This one's going to go to here. Grab some bare copper. All right, let's watch it. Don't short out all the leads. Now we turn the key on. If we did this right, we should have a full tank of gas. We turn the key on. And we don't. Why not? Right, that didn't work, huh? Didn't move. No. You know what? We might have to cycle it. Right, I can't listen to that. Looks like a gas. Should be anywhere from 11 to 13. And it was somewhere I read that you had a This is it. See, remove backup. There it is. See, remove number nine backup 10 amp fuse from under the hood fuse relay box for 10 seconds after completing troubleshooting. Otherwise, it may take up to 20 minutes for the fuel gauge to indicate the correct fuel level. So we need to go find number nine 10 amp fuse under the under the hood. 
All right, let's see. Went on the hood, fuse box. Oh, she's a little hard to read. Let's see, number nine. This one. Nine. It's kind of a funky thing. Well, we know it's 10 amp. I'm sure I see. We got a 10 amp here, here, and here. It says one here. And, uh, All right, they don't do a really nice job here. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one. All right. All right, so we still got our decade box hooked up. Did match something about 20 minutes. Don't know why, but let's try it anyways. Let's see. Yeah, we're showing a full tank of gas. Look at that. I like them. See that? I hope you see that. All right. Now, so if we go like this, and we know a full tank is 11 to 13 ohms. If we want a half a tank, we can go to 68 and a half to 74, so about 70 ohms. Over here, right now, you're at 12, so we need another 60 ohms. We can go 40 and 20 is 60. We're we'll going to 40, 20. We should have a half tank gas now. And apparently, doesn't like doing that right away, huh? No, let's see if we cycle the key out off. All right. And there we go, half a tank of gas. Sweet, huh? Well, we know it works, right? So now, question is, we know that works, we know this works. And the main problem, this critter's got in here and chewed up the wires. When we got the, when we purchased the vehicle, so far I did the brake lines, now I'm doing this. And I got a whole host of other things to do with it. We're gonna um, want to change this out anyways. It's probably no good. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we got a new wire and harness for it. And we're gonna put a whole new fuel tank right on it. Or, uh, I'm sorry, we're gonna put a whole new fuel pump on it. Um, just cause it's old and why not? So we'll vacuum clean all this out, vacuum up so we don't get anything in there. Oh. Best we can. All right, now this, you should be able to turn this, pull sheets two in right here. It should pop right up, right there. A little bit of a mess, and that's about it. And then this, they do sell a tool for this. I don't have it. I don't work on these cars every day. I don't plan on buying one either. So we're just going to use the old screwdriver trick. Give it a little knock. place it's really odd it's coming out of here I'm just leave that on there for now let's get this a little loose Like we had it. Down here. Let's shoot it up. Come on. Oh, she's stuck. 
Oh, she's stuck. Oh, yeah. There it is. All right. Put me out of here. Oh, uh, you're one of these kinds. You don't just come right out, really. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, there it goes. All right. Let that little drain a little bit. And then we'll get a rag. Yeah, I've got one of these absorbent rags. Let's move you back a little. All right. Pull that out. Here's your gasket. Sticking. All right. We'll put this on here. Got that. Take that out of here. We'll get the new one. All right. There's the old one. And this is the one we bought. The new one. See, it looks pretty much the same. Connectors on top. Connector here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's look for any cracks in here. We do have a small evap leak in this car. Haven't tackled that part yet. Just make sure everything looks good. This little clip we're gonna need right here is this one right here. I have it on there. So I'm gonna take this clip off here. I'm not ruin it. Can I set you down? I don't ruin it. Okay, this, and these little tabs pulled up. Come on. And we're gonna need a little screwdriver again. All right, so we're gonna raise these up here. Come over the top of that. It's not cooperating with me. Come on. Come on. There's one. Okay, let's see if I can spin it around. Get the other side to do the same thing. There we go. Okay, we got a little clip off. Why it didn't come in a new one, I don't know. But I don't see it on there, so. And this, snap right down here like this. There you go. Now we're going to get this off. Alright. That should be all ready to go in. Except for this gasket. we got to get this gasket on. Alright, the new one came with a gasket. Which, I believe we could just go like this. Stretch it over there. There we go. There, it looks good. Now we got a new gasket, and then it's got a new lid, too. A new uh, car uh, nut, you want to call it, I guess. So we even got a new nut. Oops. Okay, we'll go put this in there. Put that around. Alright, do I have to drop nothing in the tank. Yeah, that's good enough. All right. We're good. I'm going to take our new... Uh, well, this goes in here like this. Get in there. Something's not liking me. I don't know. seal that seal's got to go inside opening should be able to push it in there there we go 
A new ring out. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, hang on, hang on. Put this on here first. Okay. Now, put that back. Start it. She wants to come out, see? That's not good. Ah, let's try this. tight you can tell this will not go down anymore all right now that you got the seals on the seals on the side it doesn't seal down it's still side. as long as you're under good we're gonna need one of these look at fuel line up though that lines up with this there you go it's on there now and then we'll get a new wire connector hook that up and uh we'll be good I don't want to say it's glue it's not glue because you can actually peel this right off if you wanted to. I don't know what it's some sort of not really an adhesive, it's more of a I don't know, sort of sealer, I guess. I'll get that on there like that. Heat that one up. This Here we go. Okay. Now we got them all resoldered. Looks pretty good. We're gonna leave a little bit down here. Get rid of that stupid piece of tape we had on there. Don't need that no more. All right. We're gonna leave a little down in here. Not like that, I'd say. Take this. I'm gonna just push this to one side. Snap that down. There we go. All right, looks good. And then we'll put a little piece of tape here for right now, because that's probably pretty good right there. So we'll put a piece of tape right here for now. Actually, we could just tape the whole thing. Yeah, why not? Let's stick that back in here. Yeah. I think we're good because this isn't as critical as the other side. This is the side that Critters got last time. We'll just tape this up. There we go. That looks pretty good. This up. Obviously, it's like flip that a little bit. And the next guy, if there is a next guy, hopefully there isn't. Now we got our lid here. Got a little seal on it. I'm gonna tuck that through here. Like this. I'm gonna put this on first. Make life a little easier. That should just kind of roll itself in there. Oops. There we go. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Looks good. Then we'll take that. Plug that in. So check. There that little click. And this. We'll just kind of tuck that down. Put that back on top. 
see if we find our screws. Maybe we did one of them, we don't know. All right, here's our screws. A little Phillips. There's little, actually little taps, if you look. Fit right in there, little grooves. Yeah, I'm just gonna set these in here by hand. Cause I wanna make sure that everything works first. So we're gonna leave it. Oops. Whoa, 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 whoa. You alright? Alright. We're gonna leave it just like that for now. Make sure everything works first. Alright, we'll put our battery back up for now. It's gotta come back off again. So we're not too worried about cleaning this or nothing of that stuff. Yeah, you're beeping, we know. And what we gotta do is we gotta put our foot in the clutch, obviously. Make sure it's in neutral, turn our key. And turn the blower off. There we go. And that's probably what we have, right? Let's see. And it runs. Nice. All right, we got a working gas gauge. And it runs. Beautiful. All right, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for getting it this far through the video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, leave a comment down below. If you'd like to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. All right, for now, bye-bye.